Hey guys, so for today's video, I was in the mood to do another pinky kind of Valentine's Day inspired eyeshadow look. So today I created this look using the Sigma Nude Mod Palette. I think as I'm filming this video, they're actually launching a seven pan version of this palette. So whether you have this one or want to pick up the seven pan version, it would be perfect to create this look. I do have a couple other tutorials on my channel using this palette. So if you want to check those out, I'll link those down below for you. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, go ahead and keep on watching. But before we get started, this video is kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa. I am so excited to be working with Ana Luisa because I've actually been wearing their jewelry for months now so when they wanted to partner together for Valentine's Day I was like yes this is perfect. Ever since I cut all my hair off I've been trying to play around with more earrings because now you can obviously clearly see my ears and you know those snake earrings that I wear all the time those are from Ana Luisa. I love those ones so much and I just really love their pieces and how unique and different they are but they are affordable and high quality. Their pieces start at $39, which I think is really good for high quality jewelry. And one thing I love about them is how they don't make my ears like sensitive at all. I personally have really sensitive ears. So if I wear like any cheap jewelry from like Amazon or something, my ear holes will like literally be hurting at the end of the day. I'm sure you can relate. But like I said, I've been wearing Ana Luisa jewelry for months now and they do not bug my ears at all. I can wear their pieces all day with no irritation. And the pieces that I've been wearing for months now from them have not faded at all all. So let me show you the pieces that I'm wearing now and we'll talk about their Valentine's Day at BOGO sale. So first I have on these Ash double earrings and I've been eyeballing these on their website for a minute now so I'm so happy to have these. I love how unique they are kind of with like the chain link moment. You know how like chain link necklaces are in now? I really like this in the earrings and I also like how they're kind of an edgy style so today I'm just wearing like a black bodysuit so I love how these complement the whole outfit. I also have on this simple ear cuff that I absolutely love. So like I said, now that I cut my hair short and you can see my ears, I've really been wanting more piercings, but I just haven't gone through with yet, just dealing like with the whole healing process and everything. But I love this simple cuff because it gives that look of like a orbital conch piercing without actually getting the piercing. So you actually just kind of pull it off like that and it's just a cute little cuff. I think this is just super cute. So you just kind of slide it on like that and then pinch it together in place. And there you go, a cute little cuff, I love it. What I also love about the cuff too is that I feel like you could pair it with so many different types of earrings, whether you want like a more subtle kind of everyday look or something a little more edgier like these kind of earrings. So like I said, Ana Luisa is currently doing a buy one get one half off sale for Valentine's Day. So I think this is a great way to treat yourself for Valentine's Day if you wanna get like a pair of earrings and a necklace or a bracelet and a ring, just kind of switch it up a little bit. Or you could do something for Valentine's Day, get one for yourself and get the other for a friend, get a little matching pieces that would be so cute so if you want to check out Anna Luisa I will leave a link down below and I'll also link the two pieces that I'm wearing right now and in case you're seeing this video after the Valentine's Day sale my code Angela bright 20 will save you 20% on their website thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video now let's get into the makeup tutorial all right let's dig into this palette here is a little close-up of it if you haven't seen the inside recently just a little like refresher I'm gonna take the shade New Mod on a Sigma E28 and I'm gonna pack that all over my entire eyelid. So I did dip back in a second time and I'm just building up this color and I am getting it into my crease a little bit. What I love about this brush is the size of it. It's kind of like a large packing brush, but it can also blend a little bit. So I'm packing this on my lid and then once I get to my crease, I can kind of wiggle the brush back and forth to kind of diffuse out the shadow. This shade is gorgeous packed all over the lid. I haven't done this before. Now I'm gonna to switch to a Sigma E25 in the shade Preppy. And I'm gonna use this to blend around the edges of New Mod to soften out the shadow. So you can see the difference there with the blended out compared to a not blended out.
And then I am going to touch up new mod on my lid just one more time to make sure I have the most pigment on my lid and then it like slowly it blends out. Now I'm gonna take this shade Flashy on my finger. I can't remember if I've used this shade before, but this looks really pretty. And I'm gonna place this along my entire eyelid, so right on top of that new mod shade. I feel like the shade has a little bit of a reddish undertone to it, so it is almost kinda of like deepening up the eye look, but I really like this shade. Now I'm gonna go back to my E25 and just softly blend around the edges of the shimmer. So I'm gonna take a little bit of street style on my E25 and I'm just gonna lightly pack that on the outer part of my lid just to add a little bit of depth to the look. And I am slightly winging out this shadow and I'm bringing it into my outer crease right out here. That was a little more than I was kind of planning for, but let's work with this. I'm gonna take a Sigma E27 with a skin tone colored eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna use this to soften up the edges of street style. All right, I'm feeling good about the lid. Let's move on to some face makeup. So I wasn't really like planning on doing my face makeup on camera today, but I'm just kind of in the mood to do it. So let's do it. I already do have some of my face makeup on. I am wearing my Urban Decay Hydromaniac. I also have on the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer in light. This is only my second time using it and I really like it. Look at how beautiful this shade is. It looks so soft and natural on my face. I just needed to mention this really quick. The only thing that throws me off is the scent. It has like the the slightest like fruity scent to it so whenever I'm applying it I'm like oh yeah it has a smell to it which is kind of weird for a cream bronzer but I get over it it doesn't like linger on my face or anything I do also have the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer that I just bought this will be my second time using it so let's pop this on so I have the shade 20 CP and I did like a little TikTok first impressions of this and I did really like it. It's definitely like it's lightweight but full coverage which I like in an under eye concealer. But I gotta say I don't like the brush applicator of this. I tried it. It just I don't like blending out with this. It's too short and stiff in my opinion. So I'm gonna blend this out with my favorite concealer brush. This is the Sigma F64. And I kind of go along the edge of my eyeshadow here to kind of clean up any like fallout or little mistakes. But I feel like this blends out really easily. And I also had really minimal creasing the first time I wore this. And I feel like every concealer kind of creases at some point, even if they claim to be like non-creasing. Like, like if you have creases under your eyes, you'll probably crease. But this one was very minimal, which I was kind of shocked by. Like I wasn't expecting that with this concealer. But you'll notice I didn't put on like my Sigma under eye corrector, just this concealer and I feel like it looks really good. Before I set that, I will touch up a little bit of the cream bronzer just to kind of clean up the edges before I add powder to my face. Oh, this cream bronzer is beautiful. Kelly Gooch, I see why she raved about this so much. I just can't get over this color too. Like it does not pull orange at all, which I feel like is always a struggle with bronzers, especially when you have a lighter skin. So again, I'm using the shade light. I almost bought medium, but I was like, mm, I'd rather have too pale of a bronzer than too dark of a bronzer. And I freaking love this. For my cream blush, I'm gonna do my Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral. As you can tell, I am doing my best to use some of my Project Pan items, but I'm also using like the new stuff I just bought and kind of just, trying to have a good mixture of new and old things on my face. I don't know if I mentioned this brush. This is actually the Sephora collection number 56 brush. I love this brush for all of my like cream blush, cream bronzer. I just love the shape of this. They also have an angled version of this brush that I'm kind of interested in picking up. I definitely will add more blush later, but I'm just starting with this. I normally wear like two to three blushes whenever <laughs> I wear blush. It's just so fun. Okay, let's set the under eyes. Where's my elf? Elf? I just reorganized my drawer, so I'm like 
losing products. There it is. I am just going to tap over everything with my sponge before I set it to make sure I'm not setting any creases. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. I'm taking that on a Sigma F35 and I use this to set my under eyes. I'm telling you guys, this powder is, I think, better than my RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm shocked that I'm saying that because I have loved that powder for so many years. And a drugstore powder, I like more than that. I'm like, that's crazy. And I really like this powder because it doesn't like change the pigment of anything. The shade is technically light of this, and I do believe they have multiple shades, but I'm using light if you would like to know, but but it doesn't add like any coverage or anything, or it doesn't change the color of my concealer, which I really like because I feel like some translucent powders aren't actually translucent. Okay, so I really only use this powder under my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Kosas Breezy Cloud Set Powder. And I'm using a Sigma F24, and I'm gonna set my whole face with this. And I do this so that any like powder products I put on top will blend nicely and like won't stick in any places that are tacky with the cream products. The sun is like about to come in, but you can see how you can still see the glow of the cream products. And I feel like this Kosas powder just like lightly sets everything but it's not like too mattifying or anything. Okay, now for powder face products, I did also get my Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush in Cool Coral in, so let's use this. So for this, I'm using a Sigma F12. This is also just my second time using this blush. The first time I did really like it. I think I applied a lot though, because my boyfriend was like, oh, you went heavy with the blush today. <laughs> I feel like whenever you have a new product, like I just want to layer it up and put it all over my face and see how it looks, you know? I'm actually really excited about this color too because it reminds me of that e.l.f. blush I was raving about that like I can't find anymore. I think it's always cheeky. And this color is very similar, but it's like a baked kind of shimmery version. So I swatched the two side by side and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So I like to place my blush literally all over my face, like on my entire cheek. I bring a little on my forehead, temples, my nose, like I put blush everywhere. You see how my skin like has a glow to it and I haven't even put like highlighter on. Love it. I am gonna add a little bit of powder bronzer with my hourglass one. Still have not hit pan on this yet, but I'm using it so frequently. Okay, I know this might seem like a lot of steps, but this is just what I like to do. I'm gonna go back to the F35 and I'm gonna take this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio and I kind of mix these two shades together. And I like to place that kind of above my blush on my cheekbone right here. And I'm using this as like a blending shade for my highlight. I feel like this just makes my highlight blend into my face and my blush a little bit better. So I do this before I highlight. It's definitely not like a necessary step, but I just feel like it makes a difference for me. And now we go in with highlighter. I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty highlighter in Exhilarate. And I've really been liking using this Sigma E61 all-purpose buffer for my highlight because it's nice and fluffy. And when I dip into the pan, I actually dip into it. So the brush kind of like does that, like it spreads out, which is technically not like good for the brush, but I like picking up my highlighter like this and I feel like it just nicely distributes it. So, so I'm like almost kind of ruining the brush, but I like it. So I want it to look like that. I literally just do like one dip and then pop this on. Woo! One dip is all you need with this highlighter. And a little bit on my nose. I'll probably use this on my inner corner as well, but I'll do that later. And then I might add one more blush because I just love blush. So I'm gonna go into my Hourglass Blush Quad. I think I'm gonna pick up this kind of pinkier shade. And I'm kind of going on top of the highlight towards the higher part of my cheek. Tell me I'm not alone and I'm not the only person that uses three blushes when they do their makeup. I used to never really like be a blush girly, but I am a blush girly now, I love it. Okay, now that my face makeup is done, I will spray with some all-nighter. All right, let's zoom back in and finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take a Sigma E30 with more new mod, and that's gonna go along my entire lower lash line. And then I am connecting the shadow out here on the outer corner. 
And then going back to that E27 with more preppy and using that to blend out and soften the new mod shade. Now I'm gonna take a black kind of smudgy eyeliner. I'm gonna use my House Labs one. And this is gonna go along the outer part of my top lash line. And I'm just kind of smudging that around with a little angled brush so it's not as harsh looking. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Grunge on that angled brush and just put that right on top of the black liner. Now I'm gonna go back to that Rare Beauty highlighter and pop that in my inner corner and a little bit under my brow. I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes and then I'll show you the full face. All right, my mascara and lashes are on and for my lashes, I'm wearing my brand, The Bright Lashes in the style All Natural. I did also add a little bit of that grunge shade to the outer part of my lower lash line just for a little bit more of a pop. I kind of just tend to do this with like every look. All right, and then for my lips, I'm wearing the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon in Natasha with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Rose. I love how this whole look turned out. I love this shade of pink on my eyes and it's definitely different than the last pink tutorial I did. So I just wanted to give you guys a few options on some pinky Valentine's Day makeup looks. It was super fun to dig into this palette again and like I mentioned, I think Sigma did just launch a seven pan version of this palette. So if you want to check out this palette or the seven pan one or some of the Sigma brushes I use today, my code Angela Bright will save you 10%. And of course, I'm going to link everything I use today down below. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring the beginning part of this video. Again, if you want to check out any of their pieces, they have their buy one, get one half off sale right now. I'm loving how these two pieces right here just kind of complete the whole look and the vibe. But again, if you are shopping after the Valentine's Day sale, my code AngelaBright20 will save you at 20%. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.